probably not a good way to do it. I'm not loading the uh, gate drivers. All I'm doing is loading it with the primary on this uh, transformer. And I can only bring it up to maybe a few hundred kilohertz. You know, luckily with the hex inverter, it doesn't make it too big of a problem because I still get a clean square out even if the uh, signal starts looking like crap higher up in frequency. This is one of these little modules. They rate this module at um, like 400 kilohertz, but that's if you've got the duty cycle pretty much all the way up, then it'll register about 400 kilohertz with a really shitty looking signal, but you really only get up to about, I don't know, maybe like 100, maybe 150 kilohertz with a clean 50% uh, square wave. So hopefully that's good enough but this is pretty much how I'm testing it and this is what I'm getting on one of the secondaries of course that's completely unloaded so obviously when you load it down it starts to get interesting I just kinda of put that on there not thinking about it it's probably too small um, or at least probably maybe can't handle the wattage because I mean these <laughs> gate drivers are putting out um, but if I cut that on that's the waveform I get. I've added an additional 5 ohms. Oh, that's well, it's about 420 uh, ohms in parallel. So, with that, smooths that a little bit more. So, see what happens when we add a little bit more. Alright, so just another 5 on there. I would imagine at this point we're, we're at about 20 ohms resistance now. So now we've smoothed it out even more, according to this, it's about 5% overshoot. But we've got a rise time 110 nanoseconds and fall time 120 nanoseconds. I don't know, that, that's, that's not bad, you know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm guessing that seems pretty good right there together now. I've got this other half bridge on here. Uh, now, <clears throat> mind you, this is one I was running seemed like it ran fine it seemed like it ran from actually pretty low power as far as the output it wasn't anything amazing but I never really had any indication this these fits were just completely in the linear region pulling way too much and the switching was just just not suitable at all it seemed like it was like yeah but the thing is I had I had no uh, gate resistors on this circuit Here's the waveform. Um, I've got the voltage down real low because the interference is absolutely driving my phone nuts. Um, um, I mean, coal's not doing anything because like I'm at 2.85 volts right now. So let me cut that up. Hopefully, my phone won't cut out. So the thing is, we're at 12 now. And it's actually pulling about close to an amp. Just barely lighting that. Not really doing a whole lot there got a little bit um, but you know despite having what I would say a much better looking switching waveform than I had before seems like the output is a lot less now alright I've got it on the ZVS supply now it's ringing real bad the supply is rather I'm not real sure I'm kinda just trying to figure this out as I go but from what I can tell um, Getting this what, at least as far as I know now, appears to be a decent switching waveform compared to what it had before. I only difference I noticed is less output. Um, it's just not outputting like it was. I just know that this is what I've got now with a little bit of work. It's not perfect. It looks all right in my opinion, but as better as it looks before than it did before. Man, my output is not anything noticeably better. I've noticed since making these slight adjustments is the uh, heat sink gets incredibly hot now. Uh, before, it wasn't getting warm at all. I mean, I could run this thing for like hours and the heat sink would be like hardly warm to the touch. Now it's so hot just running it for that short period of time. I can't even touch this damn thing. A different pair of MOSFETs on here. I've left the same gate resistor though. 
So this is with no gate resistor. So I can actually add, you know, like as recommended, maybe 5 to 10 ohms. Try to bring that down a little bit. But if I use the full resistance, the full 20 ohms I have on there now, or 25 rather, starts to slope it over and the rise time raises dramatically and it's just way too much um, damping there so I need to uh, fine-tune the resistance with these freaking MOSFETs you know so the ones I had on there were these uh, these 538P's I mean, these are like 9 918's I think and um, with these right here the uh, Shit, O2 set or O27 H's, whatever the hell those are. Uh, those were uh, completely different. I com needed a completely different uh, range of gate resistors there. So there's with 10 ohm gate resistors, and it doesn't look quite as good to me as the other waveform. See, I'm just right on about 200 nanoseconds rise and fall time. If I add really any more resistance than that. Um, I start to add switching time with these particular MOSFETs I guess I guess if I ever get any more that are exactly the same specs as the other ones I had on there which I actually don't have at the moment then I, I would imagine I can go back to the other uh, gate resistors these the, the ones I have on here actually work pretty good for uh, some of my other high frequency circuits whereas the other ones not so much the gate uh, capacitance, the input and output capacitance on them is like five times higher than some of the other 460s I've come across so uh, I don't know how that really goes it's probably because I'm getting them from eBay and Amazon and whatnot but I'm gonna start getting them from Amazon because I seem to like those better back to the ZVS supply this little guy uh, he's just barely running um, I'm probing the gate and uh, source of the Fed on the right and this is the waveform and it doesn't quite look like it did when I was um, using my little square wave module to uh, feed the hex inverter and I'm not quite sure why that is maybe it's a frequency thing I suppose because whereas with the testing I was like 300 kilohertz and lower and now I'm closer to 500 kilohertz um, but, but this is with low voltage by the way where you can see it's not looking too good there I had an amazing looking waveform with the first pair of MOSFETs the first pair of 460's I was using which required uh, something like what was it? It was required like 25 ohms um, gate resistance to get that waveform looking like that. Um, but the thing is, the output I was getting was not that impressive. Um, and not only that, I was getting excessive heating going on with the heat sink. Now what I don't understand about that is is uh, while the output wasn't as impressive as I was used to it also wasn't so bad that it would indicate one of the MOSFETs had failed or something like that I'm wondering if that just means that you know maybe some kind of way those were just shit MOSFETs going a little bit it's got that thing lit up a little bit um, but you know, I, I can't expect the output to look like it did from the triac because the triac was giving me, you know, peak voltage uh, chopped up. Um, but I would at least expect some form of uh, the same level of beefiness or more in the bush, let's say. You know, with this particular circuit, maybe I'll blow the FETs up. Maybe other people have this problem too. You know, they might blow some FETs up, think, oh shit, you know, I gotta throw some new ones on. You know, grab two more out of a pile that they have matched, but might not have been exactly uh, the same specs or have the same values as what they had on there. And maybe their switching waveform is gonna look a good deal different than it did before. And they might wonder why it's not working the same. Um, but that's pretty much what happened to me it seemed like 
I guess the main difference was the fets, but I don't really know if that's what it is. The DC voltage. is a little beefier that you pull uh, ramping with the uh, straight sign like that and off the auto transformer that's pretty cool goes out whoops That goes out about nine volts. <clears throat> yeah. Backlight sucks. Mother Then MOSFETs gotta be getting pretty hot <clears throat> but yeah. yeah the heat sink is hot so yeah that's that's driving them pretty hard uh, I mean that makes sense not interrupted Stupid bastard. 